What's going on guys? Chris with Generals Comments and Pop Culture here. Today a little uh, helpful tip video in terms of uh, bagging and boarding. Um, in, in my attempts to want to go completely over to Mylar, <laughs> which will never happen. Let me think. I have almost 14,000 comic books. And I can get... Uh, maybe if I buy it in bulk, you'd say more money. But I, I usually buy 100 at a time, two packs for about $15 each. Um, that's the cheapest I can find online. Um, so that's that's uh, thirty bucks. Thirty bucks for a hundred. If I was to bag ten thousand of my books in my lar, that's three thousand dollars right there on bags alone. Crazy, right? But uh, you know, and I'll, I'll re re refer back to Don Combo Junkie's video he did a couple years ago. That I mean, we're going to be replacing poly bags so much faster that we're going to eventually spend that money anyways but we know that it's it's tough to come up with such a larger amount of money at once so of course you know i still use poly i use mylar on the books that i think i definitely need to put in mylar but let me give a tip for you guys that i've been uh watching um and finding out now i'm very particular about my bags and boards and i've shown you guys my station over here real quick Catwoman number one, Art Germ, beautiful, beautiful cover. <laughs> All right, so I've showed you guys my station and how I, I use multiple different boards with multiple different size bags for multiple different types of books. But the one thing that I hate, that is a pet peeve, is when a board does not complete the bag. As you can see here, this is a bag with a board in it where there is still this like quarter of an inch uh, space here. And it just, it really annoys me. Um, now, this is a book that I just put in. You can see here, the board fits nice and snug. Might, maybe a little too snug. <laughs> but if it's nice and snug, and look at the bag. You can see that the bag sits on it like perfectly snug as well. And one thing that I've known, the tighter the bag and board are with the book inside. And you can see this book... This is like a regular size bag and board with a modern book and there's space in between. But if I shake it like this, it won't move because it's so tight. The book won't move. Your poly bags won't wrinkle as fast if the setup is nice and tight. Air locked, nice and tight. Book nice and tight. Now, let me show you guys um, another tip too. Now, these are uh, BCW boards, the BCW bags, and they do fit pretty accurately. Like I said, I mean, this right here is a super tight fit. This is about a standard tight fit. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it won't move. I mean, it's a current bag and a, and a modern board. Here's one thing, though, of what I've been learning as well. If you could see this bag, it's not, it's not perfect anymore. Uh, let's see. See? I mean, it's not like completely rippled and wrinkled. I mean, it still looks good. It presents good. If you sit back, you can't really tell. But when you come up on it and get the light glare in there, see, there, there are definitely some wrinkles starting to happen. The reason why this is is because, and I, I need to find another way of doing this. When I bag and board my books, before I, you know, put them in the proper bins, I set them in a pile. I set them in a pile and I let them sit there. So those, those, that book has been sitting there for like over a month. And when they sit on each other like that, they tend to wrinkle a lot more than sitting upright in a box. Now, don't get me wrong. If your box is completely like suffocated, they could do that too. Because the heat and the moisture in the room, they, they, they cling up together on each other and it just it warps them. So I need to have like a, a short box that I stack these in right side up maybe before I file, file them away in, in the proper box. But I do it with a lot of stuff too. Like these, I know that they go in this area, but I'll stack them, you know, and it's just, it, it, I know better. It's something that you really shouldn't do. Um, so that's another tip. Don't stack your books. Don't sit your books right on top of each other. As you can see, I have stacks all over here. These are to be pressed. They're not in bags and boards. These are ones that I need to change out anyways, but... Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely, guys. Try not to stack your books. Now, um, those are BCW bags. 
And I, even though they, they aren't, they're poly bags and they're not, uh, you know, wrinkle proof or damage proof, but I still, I still would recommend BCW bags over ultra pro any days. My ultra pros just, I mean, it doesn't matter if they're stacked on top of each other or upright in a box. They, they've been wrinkling so fast. It's ridiculous. But anyways, I would just, I would recommend really keeping a, a formula. You know, when I, sometimes I, I order off of a, you know, Midtown and I don't know what they do. They have their, uh, sealed bags where, you know, it's the adhesive on the back, which I like, you don't have to use tape, but they always, their bags are just so strange. Like here's a bag that has a, see this, this board in it is a regular size board. And I believe this is like a silver age bag because I could put my silver age boards in here and it'll fit. But then these boards I take out and I set over here to use with my regular size bags. <laughs> and then usually when I get a, um, a modern book, they will send current size boards, but then I could fit my regular size boards in these bags that are regular size bags. So what I'll do is I'll take these out, the board out, and I'll either put a regular size bag in it. That's what I did with this one. This is a regular size bag. It came with a modern size board or a current board. I took that board out and put a regular size board in and got a nice tight fit. Or I could just take it, put it in a current bag with the current board and have a nice tight fit too. Either way, but guys, what I'm trying to recommend here is a nice tight fit. If you are using poly bags um, to reduce, you know, deterioration in, in wrinkles in these poly bags. So, like I said, until uh, until we I can afford thousands of dollars to go all out mylar. Um, so so yeah. So if I was to take this book and and you know close it, make a nice and neat. Um, it, it's going to wrinkle a lot faster because it, it's not tight and it has air in it. It has, when there's wiggle room like this in the bag, not very good. So keep them tight guys. That's my little tip. Appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so until next time.